Welcome back to Brain Lolly, where we plunge into the depths of knowledge and understanding. Today, we're navigating the Sea of Islam, exploring its diverse sects, Shia, Sunni, and other smaller communities. Dissect the fact that these minor communities truly represent Muslims. Are they Muslims or not? Why, you ask? Because understanding these different sects is crucial to grasping a holistic picture of Islam, a faith that spans cultures, continents, and centuries. So let's put on our thinking caps and keep an open mind as we embark on this enlightening journey. A dive into Islam, a religion with over a billion followers worldwide. It all began in the 7th century in Mecca, a city in present-day Saudi Arabia, with the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He received revelations from God, or Allah as called in Arabic, which were later compiled into the Quran, the holy book of Islam. The Quran, revered as the word of Allah, provides guidance on all aspects of life, spiritual and temporal. Its teachings emphasize oneness of God, moral and ethical righteousness, and social justice. The five pillars of Islam, faith, prayer, charity, fasting, and pilgrimage, form the fundamental tenets that guide a Muslim's life. Faith, or Shahada, is the belief in the oneness of God and the prophethood of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prayer or Salah is the ritual prayer performed five times daily. Charity or Zakat is the practice of giving to those in need. Fasting or Som is observed during the holy month of Ramadan, when Muslims abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset. Lastly, the pilgrimage or Hajj is a journey to the holy city of Mecca that every Muslim is expected to make at least once in their lifetime if they can. Despite the diversity within Islam, all Muslims, irrespective of their sect, share these common beliefs and practices. They are united in their belief in the oneness of God and the prophethood of Muhammad. Despite its unity, Islam is not a monolithic religion. Sunni Islam, the largest sect, accounts for about 85 to 90 percent of Muslims globally. This significant majority is a testament to the widespread acceptance and adherence to the teachings and practices of Sunni Islam. At the core of Sunni Islam are the six pillars of faith, which are belief in the oneness of God, belief in the angels, belief in the books of God Quran, belief in the prophets, belief in the day of judgment, and belief in God's predestination. These pillars form the bedrock of Sunni Muslims' faith and guide their daily lives and actions. Sunni Muslims also adhere to the five pillars of Islam, the declaration of faith, prayer, giving of alms, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and pilgrimage to Mecca. These practices are central to their religious observance and provide a framework for their spiritual development. The historical emergence of Sunni Islam can be traced back to the issue of leadership after the death of Prophet Muhammad. Sunni Muslims believe that the Prophet did not appoint a successor and therefore the community should select its leader. This belief led to the election of Abu Bakr, a close companion of the Prophet as the first caliph marking the beginning of Sunni Islam. The term Sunni itself means one who follows the Sunnah or the way of the Prophet. Sunni Muslims place a great emphasis on the Prophet's teachings and practices, viewing them as a vital source of guidance. The diversity within Sunni Islam is immense, reflecting the various cultural, historical, and geographical contexts in which it is practiced. From the mystical Sufi orders to the conservative Salafi movements, Sunni Islam encompasses a broad spectrum of beliefs and practices. Yet regardless of these differences, all Sunni Muslims are united by their commitment to the core tenets of their faith. Sunni Islam's immense diversity reflects the richness and complexity of Muslim experiences and interpretations. It is a testament to the dynamic nature of Islam and its ability to adapt and evolve within different contexts. Shia Islam, the second largest sect, makes up about 10 to 15 percent of Muslims. It is primarily located in Iran, Iraq, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, and some parts of Lebanon. Emerging in the 7th century, Shia Islam took root in the wake of a pivotal disagreement over leadership succession following Prophet Muhammad's death. While the majority, the Sunnis, believed that the Prophet's successor should be elected, the Shias held that leadership should remain within the Prophet's family, specifically with his cousin and son-in-law, Ali ibn Abi Talib. This divergence in belief has shaped the unique characteristics of Shia Islam. At the heart of Shia theology is the concept of imamate, the belief in the imam's divine appointment and spiritual leadership, starting with Ali ibn Abi Talib and continuing through his descendants. 
Shias believe that these Imams, numbering 12 in most Shia traditions, are infallible interpreters of God's will and the Quran. The observance of Ashura commemorating the martyrdom of the Prophet's grandson, Imam Hussein, at the Battle of Karbala, is another distinctive aspect of Shia faith. This day is marked by mourning rituals and passion plays reenacting the tragic event, reflecting the Shia emphasis on the values of sacrifice and social justice. On the practical side, Shia jurisprudence, known as Jafari, is distinct from Sunni law schools. It's characterized by a greater reliance on reason and the rulings of the Imams. Shias also have unique forms of communal prayer and a slightly different call to prayer. Though Shias and Sunnis share the core beliefs of monotheism, prophethood, and the Day of Judgment, their differences in leadership beliefs, rituals, and legal traditions have led to distinct communities. The ancient religious divide between Sunni and Shia Muslims is exacerbating conflicts in the Middle East and Muslim nations. Despite all the tension and indifferences, Sunni and Shia Muslims have coexisted harmoniously for centuries, often intermarrying and worshipping together at shared mosques. Despite differences in rituals and interpretations of Islamic law, they unite in faith through their belief in the Quran and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Shias, like Sunnis, have contributed enormously to Islamic civilization. Beyond Sunni and Shia, other minor sects exist, each with unique interpretations and practices. While not as widely recognized, their teachings do not reflect Islamic teachings, so people usually recognize them as separate religions, different from Islam. Let's start with the Sufis. Sufism, often referred to as Islamic mysticism, emphasizes the inward search for God and shuns materialism. Sufis strive for a direct, personal experience of the divine through rituals and contemplation. They are known for their distinctive practices such as the zikar, a devotional act involving the repetition of God's names, and the sama, a form of music and dance aimed at inducing spiritual ecstasy. Next, we have the Ahmadiyyas. Founded in late 19th century India by Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the Ahmadiyya community believes that Ahmad himself was a prophet. This stance diverges significantly from mainstream Islamic thought which views Muhammad as the last prophet. Although Ahmadiyyas call themselves Muslims, but their beliefs are not aligned with the teachings of Islam. The Druze, another minor sect who call themselves Al-Muwahidun, primarily reside in Syria, Lebanon, and Israel. Their faith, originating around the 11th century, is uniquely eclectic, incorporating elements from Islam, Greek philosophy, and even Hinduism. The Druze maintain a close-knit community, rarely intermarrying or converting others to their faith. These minor sects are not part of the mainstream Sunni or Shia sects, and also their philosophy and teachings do not represent the teachings of Islam. The Sunni and Shia Islam dominate the global Muslim population. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Brain Lolly. Your encouragement will help us to grow our community of learners.